Hey guys, welcome, welcome Titastic Sammy. What a beautiful Monday. Oh, blue skies, just look at how beautiful those skies are. I am back, it is Monday fun day. Lady Sarah's gone, I'm all alone. I have two and a half days left. Well, technically it is Monday noon. I leave Wednesday noon. I, I leave the condo and head to the airport Wednesday noon, so I have 48 hours left. And the funny thing is, is I'm bored out of my skull. I actually kind of want to go home. I miss mom and dad. I have no friends here. Well, I, I do, I, I have my Thai friends. I'm gonna go visit uh, Alex Bam Bam. Guys, check out his channel, Alex Bam Bam on YouTube. He's, he's my friend here and Miley, Miley's story, check her out as well. Um, I'm gonna meet them for dinner tonight. Uh, we're gonna hang out. I saw them at the meet and greet, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just taking a quick walk. I'm gonna talk to you today about Pattaya advice. Pattaya, Pattaya advice. I should have brought a hat, it is hot. Burning hot today. So, Pattaya advice. What should you do if you're coming here and you are new to Pattaya? Well, there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of videos out there that give detailed advice. I'm going to give you my perspective, okay? So first of all, book your flight so that it lands late morning, between 9 and 11 a.m. Number one reason is that'll give you time to clear immigration, clear customs, and get to your hotel or condo at check-in time. Why waste a day, right? If you're staying in a hotel, even better, arrive early morning, take an overnight flight and arrive early morning. That way you can leave your bags at the concierge and you can go enjoy the pool until your room is ready. That way you can relax after a long flight, right? That makes sense. If you're staying in an Airbnb, a little bit different. You have to negotiate with the landlord to see if you can check in early, if there's an extra fee. Sometimes what they do is they discount it, but most times they just charge you an extra day. So don't bother with that. That's why I try to arrive at the condo by three o'clock. That way, three o'clock, I get to the condo, I check in. I get unpacked, I have a shower, go to the local store, pick up anything I need, like fruits, uh, laundry soap, toothpaste, whatever I need for the condo, toilet paper. If I'm staying in an Airbnb, if I'm staying in a hotel, then obviously I don't need that. But then, <clears throat> The other thing I get to do is I get to relax before going out for dinner. My first dinner in Thailand is always seafood. So that would be perfect, right? You relax, you go out for dinner, you come home, and the next day you're fresh to start the day. Now, tip number two is book the Bangkok airport fast track service. If you don't fly business class, I am 100 and million percent going to recommend or I'm going to demand that you do it because it is the best $30 you could ever spend. Go online and look and find the, <clears throat> there are lots of them. Some are $200, 
some are $50. The cheapest one is $30. So you gotta look around, you gotta Google Fast Track, all right? Fast Track is the only way to fly into Bangkok because you don't have to line up, you don't have to worry about the immigration line, you just walk straight in. It is amazing. It is easy. And if you guys watch my video, you'll see how insane the lineup is at um, Bangkok Airport. I mean, everyone complains about it. This is the condo I stayed at last time. This is the point. And I stayed here, what was it, four years ago? It's a really nice condo. I like this. I don't really remember what the rooms were like because this was pre, pre YouTube. Are those? Oh, sorry, baby. Mangoes? I just scared those dogs. Sorry. Are you okay? So. Anyway, so book the fast track service. This is a service of the airport. It has nothing to do with the airline, unless you are flying business class. If you're flying business class, then the fast track service is included. You just need your boarding card. Do not throw away your boarding pass, okay? <clears throat> And then when you arrive at immigration, you go to the regular lineup and you go to the right side and ask where the priority lane is. Then you go there, it's free or included in the cost of your ticket. That's for arrivals and departures. Departure is just as bad at Bangkok airport. It's insane. So, now sometimes you might luck out and arrive when there's no other airplanes arriving. And that's the thing. You can check online and look at Bangkok airport arrivals and see how many airplanes are arriving at the same time you are. And that'll give you an idea of how busy the airport might be. So that's all the stuff that's available online. Now the second thing is, or third thing, is when you're changing money. Changing money you follow my advice on my previous video at Bangkok Airport, you go downstairs to the basement level where the train is. And you go down there and you go to the orange kiosk. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll put it up here and let you know what it is. It's sure. Sure pay or sure fit or but anyways they're orange all of them are down there by the train station you, by the subway station you can't miss it there's three or four of them find the one with the best rate and exchange your money there now you have uh, don't do bank like if you're bringing cash the other thing is you have to bring cash 150 100 bills 50 dollars bills usd crisp brand new no rips, no tears, no writing. Go to your bank and get brand new bills. Ask for brand new bills. It'll save you a lot. You know, I made a, about 200 US dollars more over coming to Pattaya and exchanging my money. Now I exchange a lot. I, I exchange a few thousand dollars for a month, right? Number, next one, number four, I think. Pattaya is a cash city. The only place you're going to be able to use your credit card is at your hotel or at big restaurants or shopping at malls. Otherwise, if you're shopping at the, oh, look at these bananas. That's cute. Uh, if you're shopping at a, at a night market or you're going to a bar or something, do not use your credit card at a bar or a candy shop, don't do that. 
because uh, it's just you just don't know. There's been stories here and there. I mean, you you see, you take a look and see if you feel safe using your credit card. But you 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 bear, I barely use my credit card here. I used it to buy some electronics. I used it. Sorry, I used it to pay for my electronic repair at Samsung, which is perfectly safe. You know, that's Samsung. Uh, and dinner at a big restaurant, which I go to all the time. Otherwise, it's been cash, taxis, uh, renting the boat to go to the island. You have to pay cash. Um, massages, dinner out, things like that. Buying food from the roadside stand. I'm gonna go for a massage right now and then have some lunch. It is hot, so hot, but it's beautiful. Anyway, what else? Um, Number five, <clears throat> um, I said, find a place when you're looking for your apartment, do Google Street View and take a look around and see what is there, what's going on, what kind of places are around. Can you find the, the closest 7-Eleven, uh, food market, massage shop, beach, whatever, the things that you enjoy, the food that is available, etc., etc. Find out everything that you can. Now, um, Google Maps is not, like if you search ATM and stuff like that, that's not the best. It's not updated, it's not 100%. So, always remember that. Um, I mean, your best bet is right here, like 7-Eleven. You can find everything you need at the 7-Eleven. And then as you can see here, there's street food. You're definitely gonna be getting some chicken when I come back, because that's my favorite right there, chicken. And you can see right up ahead. So my condo's right over there. That gray, I just did a block walk. And then you can see right here, here's the fruit stand, it's my local fruit stand. And they have everything I want. They'll cut the fruit for me. So I usually get the fruit that's right over there. And then the other thing that you want to find so the beach is just down there I walk straight down there and you can actually see it right at the end there if you look carefully it's two three hundred meters the other thing that you want to find is the local taxi stand so my local taxi stand is right over here so I can find the taxi drivers right there and the final thing you need to find is the water so the water is very important because you shouldn't drink the tap water and you can fill I, buy, I bought one of these, I bought one of these, and you can fill it for one baht, okay? Oh, no, no, I bought one of these, and you can fill it for five baht. That's the easiest thing. I've done it three times now. Uh, I'm almost out of water. I should probably fill it halfway before I leave. Um, now, this is a personal thing. This is not... Who's texting me here? Email. Okay, uh, I gotta check those emails. Um, so, let's just walk down here a little bit. The other thing that I've noticed, now Pattaya is a party town. Oh, you gotta check out this shirt. I got this shirt from Dave at, um, Got to love Thailand, and the back is amazing. I don't know, let's see if we can do it like this. The back is amazing. It is a beautiful shirt. It's, it's one of those, uh, I don't know what material you want to call it, but it's very breathable and very cool. It's not, it's, it's not hot in this thing. So anyway, um, as I said before, Pattaya is a uh, party town and we live on the hill away from the party town, so it's not um, noisy, there's no parties or anything, no, no loud music or anything like that. But if you're coming here for the party, I spoke to a friend of mine who owns a beer bar, and then another friend who actually uh, lives here,
wait for that noise. So here are some of the exchange places, and I mean, they're pretty good. USD 35.53. I got mine a month ago at 36.14. So that's not bad, right? Uh, and the other thing, the government said the candy shops are gonna probably close by the end of the year. They're actually pl uh, planning on putting forward a, a bill from the, gov uh, the government this month to shut them down. Um, the the, the uh, casual recreational use. They will still allow medicinal, but no casual recreational use. So that's going to put a lot of people out of business. So what was I talking about? Yeah. So let me get someplace a little more private where I can discuss this sensitive topic. So as you guys know, Pattaya is a party town for men and women and all flavors. And what I was talking to my friend about now, I mean, I went to Walking Street to hang out with friends. I went to uh, uh, Tree Town because they got good food over there. But I mean, that's not my that's not my cup of tea. I'm not interested in that. But I see I see what's going on because I mean, that's part of my business, right? I mean, I I used to be in that in the entertainment business. so I'm always, you know, curious and, and paying attention to what's going on and what i noticed was that the quality of the the women working in the bars has dropped off and i was talking to my friend about that because normally even even at the beer bars there were some beautiful beautiful women working there and what my friend has told me is that, okay, so first of all, my friend who works at a beer bar, he's a manager. He told me it is impossible to get um, employees to work. And my local friend also echoed this he, because he knows locals as well. And it was because of COVID. What happened during COVID was that, um, Everyone switched online, right? And they started marketing themselves online. And they started making more money or taking home more money because they didn't have to pay the bar. They didn't have to you know, work at a bar. They could just work from home and then do whatever they wanted all the other time. So now that COVID is over, they have um, stayed on this online. Wow, what a beautiful day. This looks just like it was when I arrived a month ago. So they're staying online and the top of the line women are staying, they're not working in the bars. So. Uh, he said it's 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 just a, a fact of life that the market has switched to online, and then the other thing is is that look at the view today. It is so beautiful. The sky is so clean today compared to what it was like last week. Now, this is really cute. They have these little squirrels here and you can feed them right from your hand. Now, check out the view today. It is insane today. I think I'm going to go to the water today. Maybe I will. Yeah, I will. I have to go to the water today. A squirrel likes it. <laughs> it's so cute. So anyway, well, this is uh, three mermaids, I think. No, this is I can't remember. This is Sky Beach or something like that. I've been here a couple times. It's really nice. 
and this is the Cozy Beach Hotel. So anyway, if you're coming here for that entertainment, you need to be aware that it's changed from, from what I have seen and what I have heard. I, I don't know because I haven't partaken of it. I didn't go to any bars on Walking Street, so I have no idea what the big bars are. I just walked through Tree Town. I walked down Walking Street and we sat in some bars to have a drink when I was here with Jasmine and with Sarah and with uh, Yui, you know, just to experience it. Because uh, they've never been. Well, Jasmine has, but they've never been. And then, um, I noticed it was much different than it was in the previous decade that I've been here. So, end of the day, you need to be aware of what it is that is available to you if you are coming for um, that part of the vacation. It's all online. Final note, um, get yourself a taxi company. I'm gonna put a phone number, email address right here, Nans Taxi. Uh, they have cars from regular cars all the way up to SUVs, and they will make arrangements to meet you at the airport. I've been using them for a decade, never had a problem, never had an issue. Communication is great. You pay them cash, you pay the driver. It's really, really easy and no mess, no fuss. You don't have to worry about anything. It's all taken care of. It's an, another thing that you don't have to worry about. All right, so accommodation. I would recommend accommodation. So I am in Pratunna. Oh, Jom Tiem has changed. Wow, I went down to Jom Tiem a few days ago and I walked around there and I took a look. It has gone way downhill. Um, it was not a pleasant place to go. Uh, predominantly North Europeans, predominantly um, British and North Europeans, Scandinavians, that kind of thing. <coughs> and then you have, and the hotel I stayed in last time I walked through there, wow. Uh, the hotel I went to like five, six years ago, I spent a month there. That place has gone downhill. Looks like crap. So, don't know what's going on over there. I only spent a few hours there, so it was uh, not a pleasant sight. I mean, you can tell when something looks like crap from the outside, right? So, that's what I noticed. Next, uh, <clears throat> is where I am right now, this Pratunak. This is predominantly, predominantly uh, Russian. Like 99%, even the restaurants. All the menus and everything are Russian. Um, then you have just down the hill from here, as soon as you get to Pattaya at the bottom of the hill, it's Little India, and it is 100% Indian. Uh, the Indian population here has exploded. If you go down Walking Street, you can just tell. It's huge. And from what my friend is telling me, he's saying it's a lot of... I'm not going to get into it. Not you guys can figure it out. Um, but it is huge. All the way from the bottom of the hill here, all the way into um, almost to Walking Street. It's predominantly Indian. Then between Walking Street and and the end of Central Pattaya is it's a mix. And then when you get to the north end, then you get Chinese and 
Korean on the north end. So actually next time when I come back, it is getting hot. Um, I will be going there. I'll be um, staying at a hotel on the north end. Anyway, so that's accommodation, travel, money, entertainment. Uh, what else? Every day, go for a massage, let me tell you. Every day, go for a massage, $8 for a, a one hour foot massage. Oh my God. So amazing. And find yourself a good restaurant, one that serves you food you like, and just stick to it. That's where I'm going right now. We'll see you guys on the other side.